regulation time. Nembe City's top only hanging on to this uh, Baron performance so far. And Mecca is there with a the cross. And Rangers, Chukuike, just managing to get that one. And the shot, and what a goal that was! What a half-minute that was! What an absolute scorcher that was! How do you describe it? And the, well, the heroics of Shelby Hamza have just came to a very crashing end here. What a goal it was from Rangers International. Sumptuous. That was the wonderful finish. And uh, they deserve that that. I didn't say it earlier that Miss Penalties have not stopped Rangers from winning this season at home. And it's the man uh, who has been in the tick of most of the forward play today. Who got now Zotuku, his fourth of the season, coming from Lombre. Very wonderful finish indeed. You can see he simply sliced that one. Shogun Hamza thought he got it covered. In the end, he had it. Wonderful, wonderful strike. With the right foot of Fugunda, Usotuku. Absolutely fantastic. for Rangers. It was not to be though, as uh, shooting stars have saved their blushes once again. Uh, check out that build up. A fantastic play from Ejiko Zain, the Nigerian international, and crossing there by Uzonna. And by the time uh, Ugonna, Uzochuku, not that it was just over the top. Good cross. And uh, the leap and the nod over the top for Ugonna, Uzochuku. From uh, uh, Katsina, Allah, that's in Benue State, where Lobby Stars have made their homes tough. Well, 
Ismail Agueta, he's been very good for Shooting Stars today, and uh, he was for his pocket. That must be for decent. Here's the second uh, player from uh, Triasi getting yellow card today. Really rough play from Geta. Take another look at that from another angle. And some venomous vituperations being poured out uh, by the each player. Rangers just about out of time now. Just one minute left. And uh, that's if you're not counting the injury time. It's a free kick to Rangers. That was an unnecessary challenge from behind. And you would be surprised that uh, Gabriel Adiku went for that one. It may well spell disaster for his side, depending on what it. And remember, it's a beautiful position for AGK Uzeni. You can look at that again, Ugunna. As he was uh, trying to make a move, uh, he knew that uh, the player was coming behind, from behind, Gabriel Aduku. And truly, he did what uh, Ugunna was expecting. Nudging him down for a free kick, not the right time. Ranger. A chance. Second goal to Ranger. Trying to clear that ball. Rangers. They have control of that ball. If they can keep possession, it's in their interest to do so. Trip from behind, and uh, that was a good now. Zuchuku was brought down. It's a Rangers free kick. Halil Umar would look a sure candidate to take it. Jalil Ogumuiwa has not, uh, is not uh, really interested in using his yellow card in this match because I thought that should have been a yellow card offense uh, coming from that uh, Ayimba's uh, player. Halil Umar was. The it's been left for Okwosa. There's Okwosa. Three Rangers players. Umar is there. All of them pointing. What are they pointing at? It's a strategy. Comes and there. It's a beautiful corner kick. A beautiful free kick. Bigger. That Africa okay. attempt again, and it came a very strong one. That time uh, coming from uh, Nam the Anya Sodo. He wasn't properly get to the 10 yard. Umar comes with it. Into underhead. Uh, not just good enough to get Rangers anything in this game. Ugo Chuku heading. Where of target. Very good ball driven in by Hali Roma. For once, a journalist man didn't get there at all. It was, in fact, it was an empty net, really. But uh, Ugona Zochuku failed to get that on target. You can see that again. 2012, yesterday. And so it tells you just one chance. It's enough. One chance is all you need. Where that chance comes away of Rangers. Yellow card uh, going to substitute Salah Biodu. The fifth yellow card for ABS. And this is the reason. Another good call. Uh, the good Uza Chuku with that one. It was laid back for him. Ugunna Uza Chuku couldn't keep the ball on target. He plays just in front of the Rangers back four, but uh, <laughs> surprisingly, he's the club's second top scorer. Amongst the Ebitimia, Gogo coming back to concede the free kick and his uh, trouble time for Shegun Hamzat. Uh, that one is landed much, much closer this time. We're going now to Chipu again. And uh, that's the second time he's tried that. And uh, <laughs> did that touch at the post on its way out? That looks like the closest chance we've had in the entire game.
cohesion and understanding between the two big men in the back. As uh, we have uh, just a quarter of an hour to the end of the first half, it's still a barren situation here at the Nnamdi Azikim. We've seen here today, let's see what Udara can bring here. Swings the ball in and head us out. That one the, almost on the line is cleared. And uh, never see this survive again. That was a wonderful, glorious corner kick at the end uh, from Never City. Of course, and uh, the man who eventually got the ball away was Cyril Edum because uh, Shagun Hamzat had been beaten with the header down. Colors. Instinctive. Instinctive. But Rangers coming forward again. Uh, the first half draws to a closer. Rangers come forward. And perhaps uh, no communication there. If there had been communication, he would have left it for his man behind him, who probably was better positioned. And that's the uh, man is telling his uh, back four to watch out, but how about this for a save? Fine cross driven in the header. Well, that was, uh, you can see it, wonderful cross. The header, oh, that's the one that led to an injury for Ugona. Then to torch for a corner kick which I'm sure will be the final action in this first half. Gino Dudaya almost sending the ball away on that one. Well, I think the ball had actually gone into touch on the near side here before that header came on. And that's the club and former chairman of the Nigerian Premier League, Victor Rumson Baribote. He really floated this side. And they're still being pushed backwards into their own, uh, towards their own area. Beatrice Dada, he gets a return. And arms flailing all over the place. The final flailing arm connecting where the face of that player was from Pere Kipu. Uh, uh, Kipu might be lucky if he doesn't get booked there because uh, just what this one? That well, I think the first elbow that went across into a player's face was from Ugonao Zochuku into the face of Elijah Okede uh, before Kipu came across and really showed uh, Ugondo Zotuku how it's done. <laughs> Zotuku, I don't think he was that hot. Still, with just a quarter of an hour left of regulation time, Nembe City's top only hanging on to this uh, Baron performance so far. And Mecca is there with a the cross and Rangers Chuku Wike just managing to get that one and the What a goal that was! What a half that was! What an absolute scorcher that was! How do you describe it? And then, well, the heroics of Shaggy Hamza just came to a very crashing end here. What a goal it was from Rangers International. Sumptuous. That was a wonderful finish. They deserve that chance. I didn't say it earlier that missed penalties have not stopped Rangers from winning this season at home. And it's the man who has been in the tick of most of the forward play today, who got now Zotuku, his fourth of the season, coming from long range. Very wonderful finish indeed. You can see he simply sliced that one. Shevin Hamza thought he got it covered. In the end, he hadn't. Wonderful, wonderful strike with the right foot of Ugona Usotuku. Absolutely fantastic. Team have had a very short time to train for this encounter, and in the media, the coach has reported as saying that they've had little time to train and get used to each other for this encounter, albeit they've traveled very well. Football Confederation, and they are in the West Asian zone, and a free kick taken into the area by Ogunet Devo. But uh, the ball was cleared off the line and the uh, opportunity gone begging for the Super Eagles. A poor, poor cross there by uh, Egwekwe Azubike. A great opportunity for the Super Eagles to break the deadlock in this encounter. But uh, the goalkeeper was quick to save that one. A table with a free kick into the box and uh, the ball missed everybody. Ugona just tapping in.
the ball but uh, not able to get past the goalkeeper for Jordan free kick once again dangerously played missed by the Jordanian defense clearly captain and the Rangers uh, giving a 40 pass again and Vilas taking over now a good run Kampo Mohamed is there a back heel and the goal looks like coming out from making this game and I'm sure Rangers defense would want to watch him there he goes again and getting it between his man and the ball and the end he thought he was going to get a free kick which wasn't forthcoming and Rangers rather getting careless again and uh, I don't think that there's any reason for Guna to clutch his knee he simply missed it also Chuku